Hey boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a quick video this week in regards to, yes, Barrett Jackson is coming around to my neck of the woods next week, April 18th to the 20th. And so I was curious to see what kind of Volkswagens were going to cross the block. I'm most likely going to take a, a trip down there to the auction and take a look at some of these cars up close and personal. So I'll have a, uh, a feed for you guys probably the next week or the week after showing the cars up close when I come down there. Uh, but I wanted to show you, there's, there's a series of Volkswagens going across. Nothing uh, that's really standing out to me to say, oh, I can't wait to see what this does. Uh, but there are some, uh, some nice cars crossing the block. What is interesting is the microbus extravaganza here. I mean, there's a lot of microbuses that are going to be crossing the block. But what I found funny was that almost all of them are recreations so either they added the 23 window to an older bus or it's a later bus converted to look older so everyone's trying to jump in on this bandwagon here and cross Barrett Jackson seems to be the micro bus uh, area or at least the auction to, to send their their buses to so I found that you know very interesting that uh People are still trying to capitalize on the frenzy with the microbus. And seeing that the real ones are almost getting out of reach to many people, the average person, you know, reaching six figures, $100,000, $200,000. I witnessed one, you know, several years ago that went for $265,000, some almost $300,000 for the real 23 window ragtop a classic bus, microbus. So, Here's the list. If you just go to BarrettJackson.com and then if you go to the auctions, just hit the pull down menu here and you'll see Palm Beach 2024. And then what you do is just go to uh, the docket here, collector card docket. And then that'll bring you up to this page. And then in the search, I just put in Volkswagen and then you'll be able to see, um, you know, what cars come up just in the general Volkswagen arena. So I did this and, um, you know, this, there's a few bugs that are crossing the block. Uh, here's a 73 Volkswagen. You got a 70. I do love 70. You guys know that. They do have a dual port engine in that one I see here. So, uh, you know, definitely read the descriptions here and make sure that uh, there's some truth to some of these cars. I'll see some of these descriptions describe that it's quote unquote all original. And yet then they'll say a dual port engine is in there. Um, I got an issue with that because <laughs> there was no dual port engines in a 70 Beetle. Uh, this one in particular doesn't say that, but I've seen that in the past. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, even, uh, you know, auctions like Barrett Jackson uh, or Mecum or RM, sometimes they get these descriptions wrong, guys. Uh, they have so many cars that are crossing the block. They're basically just putting up information from what the seller is pointing out on their vehicle. So uh, be mindful of that. Uh, I see that a lot where they'll say 43,000 original miles, you know, 50,000 original miles, and then somewhere in description, they'll say that the engine was rebuilt. And yeah, well, what the hell does that mean? Now it's not all original. So what, what are you telling me? So just, just look out for that. Everyone just kind of throws those words around, original, bar and find, that kind of stuff. So I do like 70. Uh, it's, it's a nice model Beetle. Uh, I definitely think they got a lot of the kinks ironed out on a 70 the 1600 single port engine is probably one of my favorite engines on a 70 unfortunately this one does not have that uh, but this one does have a nice stance to it. it's got a nice look to it uh, i know it's got wider white walls on it which would not have been correct uh you know i have arguments with guys about that some guys don't like the wide white walls on a later beetle and i can understand that i guess it doesn't matter with the combination of uh, color and interior combo that you have sometimes it works sometimes it does not so if we just go back here, uh, one thing I wanted to point out, so you have a, a thing here. You got almost a mix of everything here. The things are, are doing pretty well in, in today's market. I have seen things go really well when they do customize them and put a jolly top on top of these things. I've seen that cross blocks before, and they do way better than a stock-looking uh, thing 
these pictures are really small on the website. So whoever the webmaster is or whoever got these pictures, this should be looked at. And, you know, it's just they're too small. How could you bid on something with pictures this small? But this is your classic orange with the black interior. And things are coming into their own. If you don't know, Thing is two-year only. Uh, Volkswagen 7374. This custom dune buggy might do pretty well. I mean, this is something, again, you know, they a beach runner, something like that. It's got some wild colors on it. Again, very small pictures. Who's going to bid on something with very small pictures here? So something, uh, the webmaster from Barrett Jackson should take a look at this. That's a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, so sometimes these custom dune buggies and uh, things, if they put, like, these custom tops on them, these, I've seen the wicker tops, wicker seats in them, similar to what, like, a Fiat Jolly would do, which is pretty interesting. So we do have one Carmen Ghia here. Here's a 70 custom Beetle. Now I'm looking at this right off the bat. And, of course, it looks like an older Beetle. It does not look like a 70, right? Of course, custom color, copper orange that it has, rag top, which never would have been in 70. It looks like they got that Britax top in there. We we did one of those tops in a uh, 68 Beetle uh, last year. If you take a look at my YouTube channel, you will see a 68 that we did. That Those tops are actually pretty damn cool, uh, I got to say, if you wanted to cut in a rag top. So... This is really interesting going on here. I've never seen, I've actually never seen a coil that looks like that. But um, if you're into this kind of thing, um, this is a pretty, pretty cool looking, I guess. Uh, I, I particularly am not. I do like the black shroud and the black tins instead of the chrome, things like that. But they got some hardware here to make some bling. Um, and what's interesting is a lot of times, unless this is a Brazilian model, sometimes these Brazilian models look older. Um, but they made this car look, you know, like a 60s Beetle with the early headlights, early taillights, deck lid, even the early hood. It's got the badge on it. Um, I mean, to go all this way and convert it, convert a 70 or, or a 68 and later Beetle to an earlier look, I, I personally just feel like it's, it's a, that's a lot of work to do all of that. And why not just buy... A 66 and earlier Beetle, uh, you probably will save a lot more time, a lot more money than going through a whole conversion on something like this. I had a couple of clients that came my way a few years ago that had a 68, 69 Beetle and they wanted to convert the Beetle to make it look older. I remember, uh, I think it was Mid America Motor Works or Rocky Mountain uh, uh, Motor Works. If you guys remember Rocky Mountain, uh, they used to have VW parts. That's a long time ago. They used to sell a conversion kit that you can buy fenders and such to make the car look older, your old, your later Beetle look older. So, but yeah, I mean, they have a 65, 66 deck lid here. So that means you would have to change the apron as well. They changed the taillights. So I'm, I'm curious to see if this is really a 70 uh, converted or is it a Brazilian model? You know, because they even have the smaller. They got the smaller bumper brackets here as well. Uh, and I think in the front of the car, I saw, uh, what is going on here? What is this area? Looks like a, some sort of a frame here, some vented. I, what is that? I've never seen that on the undercarriage. I don't know if someone wants to point that out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I mean, look, custom custom badge. I mean, it's cool looking. It's hot. It's definitely like Florida car, California car, something like that. So pretty damn cool there. I do like copper on some situations, you know. Here's another 74 thing. And this is where we get into the micro buses now. So here we again, 66, 23 window micro bus recreation. So if you read the description here, let's click in here. Okay, 6623 window microbus recreation has completed a recent rotisserie restoration and was upgraded to a 23 window Samba model. It's powered by 1500 cc dual port engine. 1500 cc dual port. Usually that thing gets to 
1600 dual port at that point but um yeah it's basically they're they're making modifications to these buses now so i guess you know the beyond the 23 window the the, the lower window buses are the ones to find and i guess uh, there's ways to recreate them and we've seen that before i mean i've seen those on the history channel when any of these car shows or motor trend uh channel where they're doing uh complete you know recreations of the the old bus uh kindig did stuff like that so um yeah i guess there's still a hot market i still get hit up every now and then from folks in brazil that want to uh you know work with me to bring in brazilian model micro buses and beetles because again they're they're less expensive you know they're not as expensive as the as the the real german counterpart so if you don't not too concerned about it being german um you know i guess that is an alternative route to go so and then here's a 57 old i think this is the oldest uh, uh beetle they have crossing the block anything with a beetle ragtop you know i don't mind some customization as long as like if you did want to go back to stock that's my th my feeling if you ever wanted to go back to stock you could because i still feel stock uh beetle uh b demands more return on investment than a, a custom beetle um i've just just my experience so it looks like this beetle was converted then see look to a split window i see a split window back here and they got the heart tail lights way way high on the fender there they should actually be sitting a little bit lower if you wanted to be somewhat correct there but um oh yeah this is a monster engine they got in this so this is all about performance and customization if you're into that this is more power to you this is something that you want you want to cruise on the highway and get up to speed without problems um this is probably your vehicle Pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to going to the show next week and, and seeing these cars up close and personal. And I'll probably go, uh, I'll probably stick around, maybe, maybe head out there maybe Thursday or Friday next week to see these cars uh, just because it's uh, less traffic, less uh, audience at that, at that time. The weekend is when it gets nutty at Barrett-Jackson. And there's only so much of cattle call screaming and bidding <laughs> that I can take. So um but yeah there's some decent looking stuff crossing i mean some of these restorations even though they're customized here's a 56 gear i definitely would love to see this thing up close now here's a stock example very cool rare to see some of these cars oh he's got dual carbs hey i see my engine bay tar boards in the back guys if you want <laughs> if you want to purchase any of my uh, engine bay tar boards uh, just go to my website, or I'll leave a link in the description below this video. I have them for Beetle and Gia, and uh, it's a waffle pattern. You see, like, it's a nice textured pattern here, and it actually makes the engine bay stand out nice. Uh, so I'm pretty uh, pretty cool, proud about that one. But this is pro this Gia probably cruises at just great speeds. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, I always tell people, if you can't afford a 356 Porsche, you know, a Ghia is a great alternative. Uh, I feel the way the Ghia body is designed, the, sh the lines on the Ghia, um, it's, it's, it's a great running car. And if you want to put a bigger engine in, that engine bay has got such room to it. You have plenty of room to work in here, even better than a 356, in my opinion. 356 engine bays are pretty tight. So uh, pretty damn cool there. Uh, if you ever wanted to get a cruising feel of say similar to a 356 i, I personally love the way the gear rides uh, I've, I've driven 356 before I, I actually really like the gear so and uh yeah pretty cool there so here's some more micro buses so you guys can go to the website here and take a look at these up close and personal if you want i mean here's a 73 another one custom micro bus conversion you know so you can get all these panels for these later buses and make them look older and I think there was one down here, like a 97 uh, Volkswagen Combi custom microbus, a 97 converted, a 91 converted. So there's a lot of that going on right now. Um, guys just trying to capitalize on that look and vibe that's going on. It seems to be a popular trend. So... All right, guys, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to briefly go over with you what's going on with Barrett-Jackson next week. 
And uh, interesting to see what the market is doing. I still see, like I told you in the few weeks ago, there is a bit of a dip in some in some things. Uh, but if there is something that's exceptionally done well, uh, they still seem to bring a, a, a good dollar. But uh, hope you liked the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. You know the drill. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Peace. Uh -huh.